Hello everyone and welcome back for some more Drag Race gossip, secrets and drama. Today we're going to be talking about some of the Drag Race queens who can't stand each other or have had some kind of beef on or off the show, including Willem and Mimi Unfirst, Tamisha Iman and Monet Exchange, as well as Kimora Amor and Adriana among others. All that and more coming up in today's video, so let's get started. Willem and Mimi Unfirst Willem appeared on season 4 of Drag Race US and Mimi Unfirst appeared on season 3 and All Stars 1. Both of these queens are not exactly strangers to controversy. Willem was eliminated from season 4 of Drag Race after apparently breaking the rules and Mimi Unfirst had a huge argument with Alexis Mateo and the rest of the cast on All Stars 1 during Untucked which caused Mimi to walk off set. Although Willem and Mimi never interacted on Drag Race together, it's clear that these two queens have worked together after Drag Race and do not get on with each other. On Willem's podcast, Race Chaser, which she co-hosts with Alaska, Willem once told a story about her time on The Haters Roast. For anyone that doesn't know, The Haters Roast is a drag comedy roast tour that features drag race queens where they all tell roast jokes about each other. On the podcast, Willem talked about some backstage tea that happened on the Haters Roast and although she didn't mention Mimi's name specifically, she has since said in other appearances that it was Mimi so we all know who she's talking about. Willem said that Mimi started crying backstage one time during the Haters Roast because she didn't like some of the jokes that the rest of the cast were making about her. The jokes were apparently making fun of Mimi, especially regarding the allegations that had been previously made against Mimi that claimed that she had made sexual advances towards gay men in clubs in Philadelphia. However, Willem implied as though Mimi had made similar jokes about other people, but then she couldn't take the jokes that were directed towards herself. And Willem also said that it was a roast and Mimi needs to learn what a roast is or don't be involved if you can't take the jokes. Anyway, Willem said Mimi cried backstage and threatened to leave the haters roast unless the cast agreed to stop making these jokes about her. But Willem said she knew Mimi wasn't actually going to leave because she hadn't taken her makeup off. Willem apparently confronted Mimi and said that she was being unprofessional and Mimi said that Willem was being condescending. Willem then said, quote, that's not condescending, you're probably just actually sensing that I don't like you. And in a different video, which was from a live Q&A session, Willem talked about this more and said that she respected Mimi as a writer and she had paid Mimi to write a few jokes for her. But Willem added that she didn't like working with Mimi and said that no one should have to work with her. Willem also said that Mimi was rude during the haters roast and would just sit there during other people's sets and not laugh and then make notes about why other people's jokes were bad. Willem also said that Mimi was unprofessional during the roast and she did things like spray Thorgy Thor with air freshener on stage without asking her first. But nothing else has really happened between these two queens since then, but given what happened before, it's assumed that these two queens still have beef with each other. I'd just like to take a moment to say thank you to today's video sponsor, Atlas VPN. For any of you who don't know what a VPN is, a VPN is a way for you to encrypt your IP address and make it seem like you are located in a different country than you actually are. This is especially useful if you want to watch content that is only available in certain countries. So for example, if you're based in the US and you try and search for RuPaul's Drag Race on Netflix, you'll see that nothing comes up. However, using Atlas VPN, you can switch your location to the UK and just like magic, seasons 1 to 13 of Drag Race are available for you to watch on Netflix. Atlas VPN is the best VPN deal on the market and they have the cheapest rates I found on the internet, which is why I wanted to share this deal with my lovely subscribers. Right now, Atlas VPN is running a huge discount, which means you can get a three year subscription for just $1.83 a month, plus three months for free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Time is running out, so get your deal by clicking the link in the video description below. Atlas VPN also protects you online by keeping your Google searches private, and it also stops ads and malware, and you can even save money when shopping online. And the best part is you can use Atlas VPN on multiple devices and a single subscription covers all of your devices. So make sure you take advantage of this amazing limited time deal that Atlas VPN is running where you can get a three year subscription for just $1.83 a month plus three months for free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Click the link in the description to get your deal today. 
And now let's get back to some more juicy Drag Race gossip. Eureka and the Vixen Eureka appeared on season 9 and season 10 of Drag Race US, and the Vixen also appeared on season 10. On the show, Eureka and the Vixen had several fights, both on Untucked and on the main stage. And it appears as though the two of them still do not get on, even after the show finished. In an interview with Hey Queen, the Vixen was asked about her opinion of Eureka, and the Vixen said, quote, I don't know what her problem is, but I don't know how to fix it, so just leave me alone. The Vixen said that she blocked Eureka on social media and then added that her and Eureka just don't get on and that they are best when they are kept apart. The Vixen also made comments implying Eureka was racist. As background in case you didn't know, Eureka previously apologised in 2018 after a video surfaced of her using the N-word multiple times. And then another time on an Instagram live, Eureka said that she couldn't be racist because she wished that she was black. And these comments didn't really go down very well. Anyway, in the interview with Hey Queen, the Vixen said that Eureka really wants to be part of Black Girl Magic, which is a drag show that the Vixen created and features all black performers. And later in the interview, the Vixen said that Eureka always calls herself the Elephant Queen, and then she added, quote, Elephants are from Africa. And in a video which appeared on YouTube, the Vixen talked further about her time on the show, including her relationship with Eureka. She said that Eureka had used microaggressions against her and, quote, coded language and kept poking her with comments until the Vixen snapped. Eureka also appeared on Hey Queen several months after the Vixen did and was asked about her relationship with the Vixen. Eureka said that the last time she had spoken to the Vixen was backstage at the Work the World tour and they said hello to each other but that's it. Eureka described their relationship and said that they are quote, two damaged people fighting over who is the most damaged and that they are cordial with each other but they don't have a relationship other than that. Tamisha Iman and Monet exchange. Please make sure you hit subscribe and ring the bell to be notified for my future videos. Tamisha Iman competed on season 13 of Drag Race US, and Monet Exchange competed on season 10 as well as All Stars 4 and All Stars 7. The beef between these two queens is slightly complicated, so buckle up, but I'll try and explain it in the most succinct way possible. So the drama between Tamisha and Monet all started because of Monet's podcast Sibling Rivalry, which she co-hosts with Bob the Drag Queen. On the podcast, Bob and Monet were doing a review of every episode of Drag Race Season 13, including giving their opinions on each contestant's outfits. At the beginning of the season, Bob praised Tamisha a few times, whereas Monet never really mentioned Tamisha. So every time that Monet said anything critical about Tamisha and her outfits, Bob started joking and said that Monet hated Tamisha. And this joke kept going for the rest of the season. But then, in May of 2021, Tamisha posted a 60-minute video to her Instagram where she played part of the episode of Sibling Rivalry, where Bob and Monet were joking about Tamisha. In the video, Tamisha says that she is unhappy that Monet has, quote, read me at every chance, and that Monet needs to respect your elders. Tamisha then said that she had blocked Monet on Instagram and announced that she would be posting a video criticising all of Monet's past outfits as well as Monet's comments, etc. Tamisha added, quote, I have sat back and I have let a lady whose best look on Drag Race was made with sponges read me, the icon. I am not as petty as people think, but now the season is over, I'm about to show y'all how to reign supreme by giving zero Fs about what people may think about you. Monet seemed to respond to this in a jokey way by tweeting, quote, I knew I should have gotten a receipt for those effing shoes, which seems to be a reference to the high tops that Tamisha was selling. Monet also posted an Instagram story where she quoted Tamisha's line from the Phenomenon music video where Tamisha said, Tamisha Iman is coming for you, but instead Monet said, Tamisha Iman is coming for me. Shortly after that, the official YouTube channel for Sibling Rivalry posted a 52-minute long video which was a montage of every time Bob and Monet had discussed Tamisha. And in the description of the video, it said, quote, It seems like there's been a lot of misinformation and clips being shared without context, so to clear things up, we've made a compilation of everything we've said about the legendary Tamisha Iman. 
After that, Tamisha went live on YouTube where she had promised to read all of Monet's past looks. However, in the video, which was since deleted, Tamisha appeared out of drag and didn't read Monet's looks, but instead she said that she had been banned from several platforms and was unable to express herself freely. So, Tamisha announced that she would be creating the Tamisha Iman network service, which would cost $15.99 per month, and that she would be posting all of her content reading Monet on there. Tamisha also said that she'd be doing a roundtable discussion with Bob and Monet, as well as other Drag Race contestants. Monet didn't really respond to any of this drama, however Bob did, and she posted a video to YouTube called Bob the Drag Queen is Coming for Monet, where she read Monet's looks with the help of Eureka and Shangela. But in the video, Bob made it clear that this was all just for fun and that people should not be sending hate to Tamisha, and Bob even said that people should be supporting Tamisha. And then Candy Muse, who was also on season 13 and famously had a big fight with Tamisha in Untucked, went on Instagram Live to discuss Tamisha and Bob to join the live. In the live, Candy said that she was upset at the comments that Tamisha had made about her and she said that she didn't want to talk about Tamisha anymore. Not much else happened between Tamisha and Monet after that, but in May of 2022, Monet posted a video of herself at DragCon walking up to Tamisha's booth with the caption, well, I said I was gonna. The video is only three seconds long and shows Monet walking up to Tamisha and saying, quote, hey Tamisha, and then Tamisha responds by saying, oh B, what's the tea? But since then, there hasn't really been anything else, so it's not clear what Tamisha and Monet's relationship is like now. India Farah and Derek Barry India Farah competed on season 3 of Drag Race and All Stars 5, and Derek Barry competed on season 8 as well as All Stars 5. On All Stars 5, it was made clear that Indy and Derek do not get on and have a long-standing feud, so I'm going to explain how it started and where their relationship is now. Back when season 3 was airing in 2012, India wrote a post on Facebook which she has since deleted where she criticised the show, saying that the show quote has no idea what drag is and she even said that she would quit drag. However, it appears that she didn't quit drag and she eventually was chosen to be the official host for drag nights at the Piranha nightclub which is a popular nightclub in Las Vegas. The drama with Derek then started after Derek appeared on season 8 in 2016. Derek, who had already built quite a career in Las Vegas, then got into a relationship with Nebraska, who was Alaska's makeover partner in the Season 5 challenge. Nebraska also started a career in drag in Las Vegas, and in 2017, Piranha Nightclub announced that Nebraska had replaced India as the host of the Drag Nights. Shortly after this, India started posting nasty comments about Nebraska on Facebook, which Nebraska shared on Twitter. In the comments, India called Nebraska, quote, a piece of trash, and also implied as though Nebraska had previously been fired from Piranha because she had embezzled money. Then, cut to May 2020 when the All Stars 5 cast did some interviews to promote the season, and in one of the interviews, Derek said something about India. Derek said that she was surprised to see India on All Stars 5, because previously India had talked so poorly about the Drag Race franchise and criticised the show as well as the producers. Derek said, quote, To see that her drag hadn't changed was shocking. To be in the presence of her, in front of those who I believe are All Stars, was shocking. After that, India posted a letter online, which can't be accessed anymore because she deleted her social media accounts. But the letter was basically referring to critical comments about Drag Race that she had made back in 2012, and she sort of walked back on these comments that she had made. India said that she had been waiting to go back on All Stars because the Drag Race franchise now had a better understanding of drag and different aesthetics. Then, on season 5, we all saw the drama that happened between the two of them, and Derek even said that India had called Nebraska a pig in a wig, and also said that India had been fired from Piranha, although India denied that. And that was kind of the end of the drama until something happened on an episode of The Pit Stop for All Star 7 in 2022. Derek was a guest on The Pit Stop, and Bob the Drag Queen mentioned India at one point, and Derek made it clear that they still aren't friends. After the pit stop aired, India started tweeting comments clearly directed towards Derek, saying that she's glad that she's not a quote, slave working for someone else, which is assumed that this comment about slave was a reference to the Britney Spears song Slave, because Derek is a Britney Spears impersonator. 
Derek later tweeted a series of tweets and one of them made a joke about having plaque in India's mouth, which is presumably a reference to this image of India Farah. A few other Drag Race queens got involved as well, such as Shea Coulee and Farah Moan, and India later deleted her entire Twitter account. So it appears as though the feud between Derek and India has not gone away. J. Jo Lee and Mimi Unfirst J. Jo Lee appeared on season 5 of Drag Race and season 4 of Dragula, and Mimi Unfirst appeared on season 3 and All Stars 1. This feud is an oldie but a goodie, and it stems back to an incident that happened in 2013. From what I can tell, there was a rumour that Jade wasn't happy with the way that Mimi had once introduced her at a show for New York Pride. Jade then made some comments on Twitter directed at Mimi, but most of the tweets have since been deleted. Mimi apparently responded to Jade's comment and said, quote, When I got a mic, I enjoy reading a B. It's my style of comedy, it's never personal. When you take it personal, it shows your own insecurities. Jade then said, I think it's funny you think you're funny. Do what you do best and press play, unicorn kisses. Mimi then replied to this by saying, Do what you do best and suck a D for a $50 camera from Best Buy. And this comment by Mimi was most likely a reference to Jade's previous career in porn, where she appeared in several adult films under the name Tristan Everhard. And one of the movies was very controversial because it was Nazi themed. But Jade has since apologised for this via a statement on Twitter in September 2021. Anyway, Jade then replied to Mimi by saying, You would be lucky if you could get a gig for 50. Always the first loser. Don't try it, hunty. You are a poor version of Delta. And the final tweet, which is still up on Mimi's Twitter and was never deleted, says, That's right, I'm a loser. Please do not start with me. I'm not in the mood. And there are two screenshots showing that Mimi had more followers than Jade. And Judge Michelle Visage even got involved and replied to Mimi's tweet tagging both girls and saying, quote, Stop it, girls. Since then, there doesn't seem to have been any further interaction between Jade and Mimi, but from this Twitter feud, I would assume that they are still not on the best of terms. Kimora Amore and Adriana Kimora Amore competed on Season 2 of Canada's Drag Race, and Adriana also competed on Season 2 of Canada's Drag Race. On the show, they never really showed much interaction between Kimora and Adriana, but during the roast episode, Kimora was criticised about some of the jokes that she made about Adriana, with people saying that they were overly mean. However, the beef between Kimora and Adriana seemed to become apparent in November of 2021 when Kimora posted several tweets saying that she had blocked a member of the cast because of, quote, lies and toxicity. And although she didn't mention Adriana's name specifically, the two of them were not following each other on social media, so it was pretty obvious that Kimora was referring to Adriana. And the feud between Kimora and Adriana seemed to be confirmed during a series of individual interviews on the YouTube channel Too Much Michael on the 4th of December 2021. In the interviews, different members of the cast played a game of Shag Marry Kill, and both Kimora and Adriana chose to kill one another. And both of them implied as though there was more to the story, but neither of them gave any specific information. Then, later on the 19th of December 2021, Kimora posted two 10 minute long videos on her Instagram where she addressed the situation with Adriana. In the videos, Kimora apologised for the comments she had previously made and said that she didn't want anyone to send hate to Adriana. In the video, Kimora explained that she believes Adriana was the reason why Kimora and several other queens had had several bookings cancelled under suspicious circumstances. And Kimora also alleged that Adriana and her partner had been badmouthing Kimora to other people. But Kimora explains that all of this happened prior to any of the tweets that Kimora had made. And Kimora finished by saying that she hasn't said anything up until now because she was afraid of legal action, but she needed to defend herself from lies that were being said about her. Kimora also implied as though there was a racist narrative being used against her and that non-black people didn't like it when black people stand up for themselves. Later in May of 2022, Kimora appeared on the podcast Semi-Qualified Queens, which is hosted by Canada's Drag Race alums Cynthia Kiss and Juicebox. On the podcast, Kimora was asked about Adriana and she referred to her as Lord Voldemort, i.e. she doesn't want to talk about her, she who shall not be named. Kimora also talked about the cancellations of her bookings and that she suspected that Adriana was somehow involved. 
Kimura also said that Adriana was trying to make her look like, quote, I'm a scary black person out to cut somebody. And not much else then happened until DragCon LA, which happened later in May of 2022. At DragCon, footage emerged of a live panel event where Kimura confronted Adriana on stage and the two of them had a big argument. I, I, I feel that you have to have the platform. And I'm going to continue to have the platform because what you do was staying under the head. And I'm telling you, what you do behind people's backs will come to light. In the video, Adriana denied the accusations that Kimura had been making about her. And Kimura said, quote, when you go out there and you tell a black person or you call a black person and you go to the people who are managing you and say that you don't feel comfortable around them, you feel threatened when you haven't said anything to them. I haven't spoken to her. I haven't said anything to her. And then someone in the audience accused Kimura of cyberbullying Adriana, which Kimura denied. Shortly after this, Adriana made a statement on her Instagram story where she said that her issues with Kimura were simply due to, quote, attitude and incompatibility. Adriana said that she was sorry that her request to not be together with Kimura was misconstrued, and she finished by saying, quote, I will, however, ask not to sit beside you because you're being a bee. This all seemed to stem from an accusation that Adriana had asked to not be seated next to Kimura at any events because she was afraid of her and this was taken to be racially motivated and giving black queens a bad reputation. However, Adriana denied that this was the case and she shared a screenshot of her request to a promoter where she asked to be kept away from Kimura, although Kimura's name was covered up, and the caption said, quote, I never said I felt threatened by her. Since then, there doesn't seem to have been any other major events between the queens, but they are still not following each other on social media, so it would appear as though they still do not get on. So there you go, there were 12 RuPaul's Drag Race queens who can't stand each other. Did you know about any of these feuds before? And which ones were a surprise to you? Let me know in the comments. As usual, please make sure you subscribe to my channel if you liked this video. And if you could please like, comment or share this video, it would really help to boost the algorithm and promote my video to more people. It's a quick and easy way to show support for my channel and I'd really appreciate it. Please make sure you also follow me on Instagram where I post exclusive did you know fun facts and I also post interactive quizzes and polls in my Instagram stories where you can also interact with other drag race queens and look at their replies. So make sure you follow me at drag tea served on Instagram for some extra content that you won't see on YouTube. Thanks for watching and I hope you'll join me again in future videos. Thank you, bye! Thank you.